Jamaica is a paradise. It's been six years trying to visit this country, but the moment that this dream almost became a reality, I saw this news. The government is warning tourists about traveling to certain destinations in the Caribbean, like the Bahamas and now Jamaica. Local 10's Leanne Motohonga is live with this developing story. Leanne. Janice, these are some of the most attractive, most beautiful destinations in the world. The U.S. State Department now warning travelers about going to these places. We reached out to officials in both of these countries who say they're open for business. But I'm so glad I never allowed myself to be deceived by the Western media. But always go out there, go live your life, go learn something new, and explore. <laughs> Upon arrival to Jamaica, the entire atmosphere was filled with super friendly people from the immigration to the streets of downtown Kingston. Come here. I'll follow you. I know. You, fo you follow me? Jeez, man. Who's the ghost? You see? Yeah, I follow you. You follow me? I follow you on Facebook. Wow. Jeez, man. Hey, now I'm again. Yeah. No, but finally I'm here now. Yeah. Uh, I hear that you. I follow you. And I hear that you. Like you're crying. Hey, I want to go to Jamaica. I want to go yeah. visit Jamaica. <laughs> so yeah, I finally see you. Yeah. One more. Look. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Wow, nice to see you. Yeah, man. Welcome to Jamaica. Jamaica, home to short of 3 million people, but our impact is felt all over the world. Whether it is our music that gets us moving and grooving all day long. Or our food that makes our mouth water. You ever heard of the national dish, the Akian saltfish? It's actually a fruit that you just simply cannot resist. People often ask, do you know you saying Bones? You saying Bones? Shelly and Fraser Price. All our footballers. When it comes to sports, we are on top as always. For a country to be just that small dot on the map and have such a great impact in Jamaica, you know what we say? We're local, but we're Talawa. When you come, you can get a little bit of everything and anything you could want. Whatever country you are from, when you come to Jamaica, you feel right at home. So, how do you all feel visiting Jamaica for the first time? Feels like home. Yes. Where is home? Suriname. <laughs> the Suriname. Jamaica has it all. Whether it's our beaches, our lovely excursions with all our landscapes, when you come to Jamaica, Jamaica will be yard. People always say, How does it feel to be Jamaican? Of course, I'm proud. I'm Jamaican. Could you tell? But watch this video and you will know exactly how it feels to be a Jamaican. I'm actually falling in love in this part of Kingston. What, what is this place called? New Kingston. What? New Kingston. Oh, it's new. I guess I'm right then. Because it's new, because I'm, believe me or not, I never saw this part of Kingston. Yeah. I always see the downtown, everybody showing us the downtown and all of that. So when I saw it, I'm like, oh wow, this is also Kingston. Oh, but what happens in here? Um, lots of business places. So you can find lots of head offices, banks, um, yeah, it's a commercial district, so. Oh, okay. Food options. Yeah, co-working spaces. Yep. Oh, and there's place to sit and wait for the bus. Oh, okay. I guess um, I need to sit out here and wait for the bus to come and pick me up. 
Is it expensive taking the bus in here? Huh? Is the bus expensive? No. No. Is it a, it's a, very affordable. Do you have an amount that you need to pay wherever you're going? Yeah, about 100 Jamaican dollars, which is like less than a dollar US. And it takes you to wherever you're going? Right, we have different routes for the different buses, so you have to memorize the number bus. Yeah. Okay. And I, I, I am falling in love with this place. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Still, still, still with me all the time. Do you have anything like this in your various islands where you got different countries in the Caribbean as streets or avenue in your country? Please let me know that in the comment section. But also let me know which country in the Caribbean are you watching me from? But listen, it's exciting to see that you got streets named after different countries in the island. It actually shows unity. Do you believe in that? And since you got Trinidad in here, I guess this is the safest place to be because I was in Tobago and I felt so much at home and I felt like Tobago was so peaceful. So since I found Tobago here, I guess this is the safest part of Kingston. Are smiling because you're getting entertained hold up have you liked the video yet most importantly have you subscribed to be part of this awesome channel share this video so that your friends and family will see this video I mean I know you're entertained but you also need to be educated on how Jamaica got its name the name Jamaica is derived from the Arawak or the Taino word um, Arawak being the language so from the Arawak word Zamaka, which, in, which means land of wood and water. And so it was Europeanized to Jamaica. Um, and that's where the name comes from, you know? We Jamaicans like to say Jamaica, which means we were made by God. Uh, but that's where the name comes from. Uh, so it's an indigenous word. <laughs> videos about Jamaica and I never saw this part of Jamaica in anyone's vlog. Typically it's downtown, in the heart of downtown. That's yeah, but, but if you always keep on showing us the downtown, we might think that places like this do not exist in Jamaica. It's you know, it's, it's more like a, a waterfront. Yeah, it's a walking sun waterfront. So you have, I call this a business district. Okay. Because you have a lot of businesses down here and the government is trying to, they have a new initiative where they're trying to redevelop downtown Kingston. So they're trying to get a lot of big businesses to come here to have them set up the businesses. Oh, this is beautiful. And the kind of infrastructures that you see around here is more like a, a modern infrastructure. And if you can see the stretch, they got a royal palm, planting the royal palm, they got street lights. It's, well organized on the one that I see. I, I, I'm so sorry. I never thought you got well organized you know, place in Jamaica like this. Really? No, because all the vlogs that I see is like people walk in, it's like, you know. Space, bustle and hustle and bustle and yeah. Thank you, now you know what I mean. That's when I say like, I never saw this part of the city and I, I think this is something that you all need to know that Kingston is not all about the downtown Kingston. Kingston is not all about what you've been seeing on the media, but this part of Kingston deserves to be shown. And I guess that's why I'm here. I always try to show you what you don't see. Incredible stuff. Man, look at that. This is super cool, man. Welcome to Kingston, Jamaica. Before I take you guys to downtown Kingston, I want to tell you one fact about Jamaica that you all have no idea about. Look at my colors. I represent the flag of Jamaica. And you see the flag of Jamaica out there? This is the only flag in the world 
that has not contained the color blue, white, and red. That's a fun fact as a gift for you all. Welcome to downtown Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> We made it to downtown Kingston, right here. <laughs> you know what? The similarities between Africa and the Caribbean is uncanny, man. Because most of the things that we do is so similar that I found myself in downtown Kingston. I feel like I'm in Makola or maybe Kaneshi, Accra, Ghana. You, you went to Ghana, right? Yeah, I did. I went to Ghana, and it's very, very similar. The, the, everything. You see We call these mini buses. Short straw in Ghana. How and do you call it? In Jamaica, we call them chichi bus. Chichi bus. Chichi, yeah. And in Ghana, we just say, you go in last one, last two, Kaneshi, last one. How, how do you do it? You do that we here? We say in Jamaica, one already, two a move. One already. Two but it's move. always a lie. Always a lie. Because <laughs> one already mean they probably have about ten more people they're waiting on, and they're not quite ready. But, yeah. Anytime we say last one, last two, the bus is literally empty. I, I think we gotta we gotta give it a shot, man. Yeah. We gotta give it a shot. Hi. Wow, well, you you loading? Oh, you're not huh? loading. You're my load. You you my you my load. Yeah. So we also say loading. Hi. I'm from I'm from Africa, Ghana. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. We, so I'm just trying to see the similarities between Ghana, where he's from, and Jamaica, is, and which is is the same thing. The same, you know. So. Wow, we feel like home, you know. If I feel like I'm in Ghana. Can I can I shake your hands, Mama? Nice one, nice one, Mama. Can I shake your hands? Accra. We do the same thing like what we do in Ghana. So this one in Ghana is the same. Three buses. We look alike. We are all Ghanaians. I love that. I love that. I love that. The woman is so African. She's telling me that when you go to Ghana, tell them something positive about Jamaica. And I'm like, that's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> hey! Man, I forgot. <laughs> no, I load the bus. I'm loading the bus now. Oh, it's almost done. One already, one already. Three massive. Three massive view. view, one already. You're going? Do, do, do you stamp the car like that? Yeah, yeah of course. Same it? Like in Ghana, we stamp the car, man. <laughs> they say that you can take an African out of Africa, but you can never take what makes him African out of him, man. Like, walking in here, if I don't tell you that I'm in Jamaica, you definitely not believe it, because you might think that I'm walking somewhere in Accra or somewhere in Nigeria or some oh my goodness like literally the same thing you see the arrangement of clothes it's exactly the same thing that we do back on the motherland hi Hey, wife here. Oh, nice to see. You. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. This is so cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see how much of the Akiya selfish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akiya selfish, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. Man, big up yourself. Oh my God, enjoyed it. Man. Thank you. Welcome to Jamaica. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Wow, the guy is so tall, man. <laughs> you ever went to a place in Ghana that looks like this when you were in Ghana? I think I went one time. Yeah, they have like clothes, they sell new clothes. Exactly. Yeah. Everything here is like new. new wow. So like, I, I, I feel so confused. You know, I don't feel like I'm on the island. 
feel like you're back home. I feel like I'm back home, you know. I'm trying to like absorb all of them in. That's how I felt when I went to Ghana. I was like, but this is Jamaica. Really? Yeah, I was like, this is Jamaica. I feel like I'm in Jamaica. Oh my God. Those are my pants. Those are my pants. Those are my pants. Those are my pants. Thank you. Thank you. Jamaica is not just Kingston. It is made up of 14 beautiful parish and I want you all to come along with me as we drive through the highway with one of the best scenic view to the largest parish in Jamaica. Welcome to St. Anne's. St. Anne is located on the northern side of the island. It was formerly called Santa Ana by the Spanish because of its natural beauty, hence known as the Garden Parish of Jamaica. Jamaica was originally inhabited by the people they refer to as the Tainos, which is a part of the indigenous groupings that were here in what we call today the Americas, right? Um, it was colonized by Spain, you know, with the arrival of Christopher Columbus in the 1490s. This is the exact same location where he anchored his ship, now known as the Discovery Bay. And in 1655, the British took over. It was captured by the British around 1611, um, captured from Spain. Both the British and the Spanish um, engaged in the transatlantic slave trade which was the illegal trafficking, you know, kidnapping and, and um, forced labor of, of Africans stolen from Africa, all over Africa, not just West Africa. And between 1845 to 1854, the first Indians and Chinese arrived in Jamaica to work as indentured servants on sugar plantation that has been abandoned by African Jamaicans after abolition of slavery and that's how Jamaica's motto was carved out of many one people. St. Anne is now the home of rainforests, rivers and waterfalls. There is one waterfall that everyone from Jamaica is talking about. Everyone is telling me you cannot be in Jamaica without seeing this what particular waterfall. And it seems that this particular waterfall has flooded my entire comment section. So I'm excited to be seeing this for the first time. Oh my goodness. If you see the number of cars that are parked here, I guess everyone is on their way to go see the waterfall. Chasing dance waterfall is not for free. You have to pay. $25 if you're a foreigner but if you are local you just have to pay a thousand and you're good to go but the one thing that I really love about this whole waterfall experience is the fact that they've taken advantage of the surroundings of the waterfall from the moment you get out of your car so you, you go see the waterfall what do I mean by that you see all the cabins that you see this is an experience for you to enjoy I mean it's more like a recreational park so you can still have fun before you get to the waterfall. with you all it's one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been with so much hidden game like this one 
guess what? This is the fire water. I mean, do you guys believe in miracles though? You don't think it's a miracle? I, I just wanted to pray yes. and command this that. water yes. to turn into kerosene. Do you have lighter there? I have a lighter right here, man. Be the magic partner. Yeah. The, may this water turn into kerosene right now. <laughs> you believe in magic? Oh my goodness! But the water is so hot. Why? Did it light up? The sulfur. The sulfur okay. substance. Potassium, iron, magnesium, zinc, floral, alkaline, saltpeter, sugar, you can name it. It's all in the water. It comes up natural from the inner core of the earth. Are you not bent? Are you not bent? It's not touching you. Are you not bent? Are you okay in the water with the fire? Yeah. Wow, you are in the hellfire and you're okay? Yeah. Oh. happy to be here because St. Anne is the birthplace of Jamaica's first national hero, Marcus Mosea Kavi. And I'm so glad to be the great great grandson of Marcus. <laughs> I finally made it to Jamaica and I want to start off by paying homage, I mean paying respect to the first national hero of this beautiful country. And the reason why I decided to start my videos from here is the fact that you all have been saying that I am Marcus Gavi reincarnated. But I don't accept that for now because I feel like this man carried a lot on his shoulders. And yeah, I think I'll accept this one. The great, great grandson of Marcus Gavi because I look like him. And you won't believe that it's also the home of the legendary Bob Marley, the eighth national hero of Jamaica. Get up, stand up, don't give up the fight. In my books, but I believe that he has to be the new national hero of Jamaica. Because if you go out there, when you hear the name Jamaica, the first name that comes into your mind is Bob Marley. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. so shocking to see that so many reggae artists, both past and current, were actually born in this parish. Hence, the home of the annual biggest reggae stage show in Jamaica, Rebel Salute. Inside St. Anne's Bay, there exists a stunning coastal town called Ocho Rios. That is Spanish. In English, simply put, eight rivers refers to the number of rivers in the area. It was once a sleeping fishing village but now a popular tourist destination with so many beautiful resorts and a cruise ship harbor. Indeed, 
Indeed, Jamaica is the land of wood and water. The third largest island in the Caribbean is stunningly breathtaking. Every corner of this island got breathtaking views from Portland to Montego Bay. But enough of the breathtaking views, it's about time for us to go have some fun. But the best place to have such fun is in the west of Jamaica. In Ghana, I am from the West, and we have this saying, the best comes from the West. We are coming home, over Ivory Coast. We are coming home. Friend from Donga Ghana, tell the world of Donga Africa, we are coming home. Welcome to the grill. We made it to Negro, and everyone is talking about one thing that I have to do in Negro, which is to go see. The world famous Ritz Cafe. Ritz Cafe. What is Ritz Cafe known for? Ritz Cafe is known for the sunset and jumping off the cliff. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That is what makes it famous? That's what makes it famous. Now you can believe a guy jumping off a, a 85 foot feet to jump all the way down in the water. And then you can watch the beautiful sun while the sun goes down. Oh wow. You know, that is what um, Zanzibar is known for. Right. Jumping into the ocean. Ocean, yeah. That's what you do here? Yeah. That's so what I guess Risk Cafe is just the Zanzibar in Africa, man. Come here. Come here. I saw you on TikTok. You saw me on TikTok? Yeah, man. Nice to meet you, man. You are the, you are the, you are the, you are the Aki and Sawfish. Yeah, you? Aki and Sawfish. Yeah. yeah. Where did you add it? Huh? You remember the resort? Yeah. Where was it? Uh, the one in Ocho Rios or the one in, okay. Yes, Ocho Rios. man. All right. You enjoying Jamaica? I'm enjoying Jamaica, man. One love, brother. If you Show have the a... people. One love. Good one guy. love. Turn one love. around on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One love. One love. Life, one love. One love. No one problem, love. Jamaica. No problem, Jamaica, man. Respect, my Much brother. Much respect Keep to you. you Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm right here at Risk Cafe. I'm just going in to check out what makes Risk Cafe so unique. But I think it's more tourist because right? I see a lot of tourists around in here man. Yeah, make some noise. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's enough for you. God damn it. She loves her country. I love it too. All my friends from the UK make some noise. Yeah. If you don't, oh, wait, 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 if you don't, wait, wait, wait. Only one from Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brother. But well, don't worry, I'm African too. Don't worry. I see you, man. Where are you going? We just started. Step wow. on work. Come over here, man. Come join us in. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is it. This is the guy who, who's been blogging about the Jamaican food and, and, and yeah, yeah. If the nice Jamaican to meet you food on. is good from Africa. Yes, yeah, so, sir, I want to know what, which. Which one of the Jamaican food is your favorite? Come over here, let me eat the Wow. <laughs> Which of the Jamaican food is your favorite? I, I, I think Aki and Sawfish. Aki and Sawfish. I'm scared because I don't want to die. You don't want to die? Because in Ghana, we don't eat Aki and Sawfish because it's poisonous. Yes. But here, rice and peas is the all time, man. All right, big it up for my brother. Come thank on, show some love. You, That's you. what I'm talking about. He likes the Aki and Sawfish and yeah. rice and peas. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Race Cafe is a whole vibe on its own, man. Do you still feel like Jamaica is unsafe for tourists? Hey, they don't know about this right here. Yes, you ready? You ready? You say what I'm gonna Jesus. Alright, anything, you know? Wait, 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 God damn it. Come on with you. Yes, anything, here we go. DJ jump. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hey, 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 
come to the home of the best beach in Jamaica one of the most beautiful beaches that you can find in the entire Caribbean listen this stretch that I'm walking is known as the seven mile beach in the grill one of the best I mean your trip to Jamaica will be incomplete if you don't make it here why you know what I guess my background tells a perfect beautiful fun what are you seeing at the moment it's just a crystal blue sea right here and this side is filled with white sand beaches oh my goodness listen Jamaica it's a paradise. Jamaica is so heavenly blessed with gorgeous beaches. But the most exciting thing about this whole beach is that it stretches for seven miles long. So it starts all the way from that side to the downtown. But there's one crazy thing about this beach that I personally don't like that I want to address about it. When you come to Jamaica, be careful about that in terms of going to the beach because beaches in Jamaica are more like private property. I paid to enter the beach and I got a limit. I can't walk up here. You see, if I walk up here, I'm invading somebody else's property. So I have to walk down here, which is okay for you to walk all the seven miles if you decide to walk this far. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you that Jamaica is beautiful and blessed with so many beautiful beaches, especially the beaches that you find in the group. What, what, what makes you keep coming back to Jamaica? Well, I took one of their women, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love that! Sorry, sorry, I love that! I love that! <laughs> <laughs> and, and apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, what makes you keep oh, coming back? Man, I told you, you know, the weather, you know, the food, the, 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 the music, the vibe generally, man, the party mode, the, the, the sun, the, the, the beach, man, you can't go wrong, man. Yeah. You know, I just keep coming back, you know. Glad. Uh, Glad to see you, man. man anytime, anytime. I love that. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy the other side of Jamaica that the media does not show you. You know what? Like this video, share this video, and I will see you all in the next one. By the way, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. I am Peace out. You know what brings us together? One low. One high. Let's get together and feel alright. The people singing one love, one heart. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel alright.